hello welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to be solving the kcpe 2021 past question in order to mark your revision for the forthcoming exam if this is your first time of coming to this youtube channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can get more revision videos from us now question one says what is this figure 2085407 written in words now the first thing you need to know it's uh the two has to do with what that's two million okay um there's zero hundred so you need to do it like this next one is eighty thousand and the next one is um five thousand the next is um four hundred we have zero ten and seven so from here you can dictate that this is two million eighty five thousand four hundred and seven so from here i can see my correct answer is going to be what that c that's two million eight five thousand four hundred and seven now the next question says what is six eight nine point nine seven five rounded off to the nearest hundred now if you write this six eight nine point nine seven five now i want you to know that this is what tens you need to know that this is the tenth this is what thousand and um, hundred so this is hundred and this is called thousands okay having established this now because we are rounding off to the nearest hundred we approximate this so this is going to give us our final answer as six eight nine point nine eight so that's our correct answer so the correct answer here it's going to be c and i'll circle my c now what is the sum of total values of digit seven and three in the number five seven four three eight now seven here represents that in five seven four three eight this is what seven thousand and this is what thirty so when you sum it up this is going to give you what seven thousand and thirty final answer so the correct answer here is going to be b so i'll circle my b okay so going to question four the question four says what is the value of 40 plus dates so now this is what we're going to do we're going to be applying the rule of board mass so you need to know what your board mass means this is bracket of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So I'll start. This will be 40 plus 3. I'll treat my bracket first. So this is going to be um, 8 minus 5 minus 7 times 6 divided by 3. So this is going to be 40 plus 3. 8 minus 5 is going to give me 3 minus 7 times 6 divided by 3. Now from here, I have 40 plus 3 times 3 will give me 9. Okay, so minus 7 times 6 divided by 3. Now, since we don't have an off, we should go ahead and do our division. This will be 40 plus 9 minus 7 times 6 divided by 3 is going to give us 2. So from here, we treat our multiplication. This will be 40 plus 9 minus 14. This is going to be 40 plus 9, which is going to give us 49 minus 14. And this is going to give us, um, that's 3 and 5. So, 35 is our final answer. Now, so I'm going to take my 35. So, you need to know that the correct answer here is C. Okay, so, question 5 says, what is the value of x in the equation? So, this is my equation, 2x plus 1 over 3 into 6x, 6x minus 3, sorry, let me clean this place, so this is um 6x minus 3 equal to 21, so now the first thing I need to do here is multiply through by 3, so I'm going to multiply through by 3 so when i multiply through by 3 i'll have 
3 times 2x plus 3 multiplied by 1 over 3 into 6x minus 3 is equal to 21 times 3. So from here, this will be 6x plus, this will be 3 will cancel out, so we'll have um, 6x minus 3 here. It's equal to 21 multiplied by 3 is going to give me 63. So from here, I can have 6x plus 6x, that's 12x minus 3 is equal to 63. So from here, I'm going to collect my like terms. So this is going to be 12x is equal to 63 minus 3 coming over is going to be what? Plus 3. So I'm going to have 12x will be what? 66. Therefore, x will be 66 divided by 12. So here, we're going to have um, how many 12s are in 66? We have 5 whole number, remember, 6 over 12. Now, this can be reduced to 5 whole number, 1 over 2. Final answer. So my correct answer here is going to be B, and I'll circle my B. So question 7 says, Kalima bought the following items from a shop. How much did he pay for all the items? All you just need to do is to sum up all the things he bought. So this is 3 packet of maize, 3 times 120. So this is going to give us what? 360 shillings. Now the second one says 2 kg of beans for 170. So 2 times 170, this is going to give us 340. Now, 1.5 kg of potato at 40. So 1.5 is the same thing as 1.5 multiplied by 40. Now this is going to give us um, 60 shillings. Now, 3 loaves of bread at 50. So this is going to give us 150 shillings. Now, all I'm going to do is to sum this up to get my final answer. So here, when I sum the zeros up, I'm going to get 0. 6 plus 4 is 10. 16 plus 5, that's 21. Put my 1 and carry my 2. So 2 plus 3 is going to give me 5. 5 plus 3 will give me 8. 8 plus 1 is going to give me 9 and so my final answer here it's going to be 910 shillings so the correct answer here it's uh, D now if you if you are just joining us for the first time don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can get more videos from us we are going to be solving all the KCP e mass 2021 past questions so don't fail to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can stay updated as we release these videos. Stay tuned for more.